In this example, we're going to test a difference of proportions. Everything is the same with this one sample difference of means test, except instead of testing a, a difference between two means, we're going to test the difference between a hypothesized proportion and a proportion that we've observed from a sample. So 500 Salt Lake City residents were sampled. Of these, 350 voters claimed that they would vote Democrat in the next presidential election. At the 99% confidence level, is this significantly larger than 60%, the percentage that voted Democrat in the last election? So the only thing that we really need to uh, do here in order to um, see the difference between this and a difference of means test is that when we are dealing with proportions, the, sta the standard deviation of a proportion is always s equals the square root of p1 minus p. In this case, p is the proportion of the sample who voted Democrat. So in this case, the proportion is 350 over 500, which is equal to 0 0.7. So once we know the p, the question doesn't include a standard deviation in it, because given that this is a proportion, we can always calculate the standard deviation using the proportion itself. OK? So questions of differences of proportions won't give you a sample standard deviation. They'll only give you the sample proportion, because from the sample proportion, we can always derive the sample standard deviation. So in this case, the sample proportion is 350 over 500. 70%. Alpha is going to be 1% because they want to be 99% confident. And we can calculate S as the square root of P times 1 minus P. So 0.7 times 0 0.3. This is going to give us 0.46. And the standard error of the proportion, we'll maybe write it like that, the standard or in error of the proportion is going to be s over root n. So 0.46 over root 500 which is 0 0.02 okay now we have everything that we need to conduct the test the null hypothesis is that the proportion equals 60% the same proportion that we had last year. The alternative hypothesis, let's just read the question carefully. Is this significantly larger than 60%? So we're looking for p greater than 60%. We know that alpha equals 1%. And we know this is going to be a z-test. So this is step one, step Sorry, this was step two. Here's step three. Now let's draw it out. Step four. Well, you're going to have one critical value. We're going to have 1% over here. So we're going to use the 98% confidence level. because That's going to put 1% on each side. 2.33 is the critical value. In step 5, we can calculate this test. Z equals P minus, say, the hypothesized P over the standard, whoops, the standard error of the, the proportion. So we sampled 70% Democrat minus 0.6. And we said that the standard error was 0 0.02. OK. 
equals 0 0.1 over 0 0.02, which equals 5. So if we plot it at 5, it would be way out here in the tail in the zone of rejection. So in step 6, we reject the null the democratic proportion has increased.